And welcome back guys. We're going to be playing some more Starfield. Make sure it's the like button, make sure it's the button. Let's get into it. For me, or did you just want to attempt to say my name? I appreciate that. All is well. Thank you. Barrett.
you told me what went down. Impressive work. Captain, if you'd be willing to transfer the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing what comes next. Time for us to start getting some real answers. And figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So whenever you're ready. Acknowledged and accepted, Captain. So with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. All right, Captain. Are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good, Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? Then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here, your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. We've also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a sensitive position normally we wouldn't even consider something like this but we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the terramorphs and they've stated they'll only share it with you they asked for you by name so i need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence you can tell no one can you agree to these terms Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there. surprised that the UC has such a massive space dedicated to secrets. Logging authorized entry. Unsealing access. You may proceed down the corridor. But there are no additional visitors permitted. Your friend's gonna have to wait out here. Very well, I will wait. You go on.
President Abeo was kind enough to give me a few files to peruse. Quite the series of accomplishments you've managed. But now you face a foe unlike any other. An invisible enemy, lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can get. Which is why I hoped we could speak. Do you know who I am? Perceptive. I like that. I'm Francois Fanon. But most know me as... Victus. I was an admiral during the Colony War. One of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes. But the previous regime deemed me... too valuable to simply discard. So they put me here. A sacrifice on the altar of peace. Even my death served the colonies. earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their recovery teams, helping them gather intelligence on, locate, and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war, with quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team. Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. I'll tell you where they are, but in exchange, I need something dealt with. There is a former colleague of mine, a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlais. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colonies' more problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make a deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal, and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him, however you're able. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. certainly try, but the man's been out there 20 years, 
is likely gone feral by now. Easier for all if you simply blow up his ship and be done with it. If that's what you require to sleep at night, so be it. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria, Wolf System. There is a star station in the vicinity, the Den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our man. Yes? You need something? I will watch your back. Captain, did your, uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy. Captain, please, keep your voice down. The situation with the prisoner is a complex one. A holdover from a different era. But it's a situation we've been managing, as discreetly and humanely as we can, for some time now. And the most critical part of that management is making sure no one else learns of it. Do I make myself clear? Good. Because bringing this up to the outside world would create the unfair appearance, Captain, that you're unhinged. And that's not a good look for any of us. Now, was there something in particular you needed to discuss about... what we were just discussing? Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question. But bringing him to justice... He's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. What's being offered in return? Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? The Den? It's a star station. Orbiting Wolf, the second star station actually to bear that title. The first one was blown to smithereens by House Varun during the Serpent's Crusade. The place has always acted as a remote strategic hub, primarily for repairing and refueling UC military vessels. But because of its distance from the rest of the UC, things there have always been a little more lax. Patrols included. I can think of worse places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake, but I don't think you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions went off largely without a hitch. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, I think you can proceed.
Perfect. Didn't even smudge the paint. You got something quick? Kinda busy at the moment. Or Lace. Doesn't ring a bell. Anything you can tell me about him? Seriously? Out here? Surprised they didn't send out a general notice he's in town. Though, I guess there's less a chance he bolts if they keep it hush. But I expect we would have heard something... Wait... The Warlock! There's been rumor of a ship out there for years now. Doesn't respond to hails, never docks. More than a few amateur investigators have tried to find it. And at least two never came back. Ethereus debris fields are plenty dangerous if you're not used to flying in them. But if you're suggesting it might not have been the fields that got them... Well... I can give you the coordinates of the Warlock's last sighting. Can't think of a better spot your Orlais might be hiding. Sure thing. Here. This should get you pointed in the right direction. Go get your man. Be careful if you run into those eagles.
Sure to stay properly hydrated.
Docking and complete. This station is but a shadow of its former purpose. I do not like it here. Good to see. Was there something you needed? Certainly. Ship from dock. Done.
Ensure the remaining team members find their way to the Red Devil's headquarters. Except for one. That one you'll need to collect yourself. His name is Kaiser. You can find him on the Freestar world of Nera, wandering the battlefield there. The area was ground zero for Xeno weapon deployments during the war, so I would arm yourself appropriately. And I think you'll want to check in with Hadrian and Dr. Walker before paying it a visit. Kaiser will likely have security protocols you'll need their help to overcome. A military Model A. Yes. Specifically customized for the needs of the Xeno Warfare team during the Colony War. A powerful resource. If you can recover him. Of course. We're protecting the galaxy, Captain. We'll need every tool at our disposal. Authorized personnel only. Ah, a face I never... Yes, good. Is it that my nose seems to itch only when I cannot remove my helmet to scratch it?
Welcome back. I was afraid you might have gotten reassigned. You've been gone so long. So how's it feel to be a citizen? <laughs> to each their own. Still remember my ceremony. Nineteen years old. Standing on the front deck of Mast, looking over the city. One of the proudest days of my life. But it is real good to have you here again. We've been going through the Terramorph data and, well, we're gonna need all the help we can get. These logs, they're even more thorough than I remembered. Genetic workups, population statistics, hell, even their food chain. I'd completely forgotten, for example, that there was a creature that actually ate Terramorphs. <laughs> At this point, the data's given us more options to explore than we have people to work on them. <laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, are you? You're serious. You found... our research team? That's... incredible. That accelerates... everything. With them back, it'll let us... Wait. Kaiser. Did you find Kaiser? That... That's right. You would need that. Whoever gave you these leads sure knew their stuff. Oh, well, how? How exactly did you manage to find them? <laughs> you can't be... Oh. You are serious. Okay. No more questions. But still, getting Kaiser back, that gives us more than a few new paths forward on dealing with the Terramorphs. But if he's been out there on his own all this time, you're gonna need something. Come on. We've already made a lot of progress getting this place back online. Some of the containment chambers were a bit... Kaiser schematics. Actuators, weapons, batteries. That old robot's been MIA for a while, so chances are he's gonna need some repairs. He's also got a lock on his voice controls. You can give yourself authorization with the phrase, Nos belli machinis. Now, where exactly is the old machine? A battlefield? On Nera? Oh, sheesh. No wonder no one's found him. That sector of Nera was destination number one for Xeno weapons during the war. Add to that general environmental devastation and the kind of lawlessness that comes with any Freestar world, and that planet's got more than enough ways to make a visit your last. But I think there's a place where you can start your search. Hmm. Yep. One-of-a-kind salvage. Licensed to an Angelo Alonso. Goes by Gel. As good a place to start as any. And I'll make sure we're ready to put them to use as soon as you've got them.
some work done? Anything I can help you with? Nothing for us to do. Sure, have at it.
find the interior of this ship comforting. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.